my preschool friends. I'm Joseph, and I'm here with my mom, Mrs. Blossom. Today, she will be reading a story, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Enjoy. Today, we're going to read the story, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Here's my caterpillar friend right here, and we're going to be feeding him into his tummy. In the light of the moon, a little egg laid on a green leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and a very hungry caterpillar. And if you look right there, you can see the caterpillar. He started to go out to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. So here's one apple we're going to put in his tummy. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. One, two, here's our pear. But he was still hungry. I'm going to put that down into his tummy. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. One, two, three. But he was still hungry. Put the plum into his tummy. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One, two, three, four. But he was still hungry. Put that into his tummy too. There goes the strawberry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. Here's our orange. And he was still hungry. Put the oranges into his tummy. He's starting to get kind of fat down here. Look at that. He's got a full belly coming. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, One slice of cheese. A slice of salami. One lollipop. Whoa, his tummy's getting full. One piece of cherry pie. One sausage. One cupcake. And one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Look at his big, fat stomach. The next day was Sunday again, and the caterpillar ate through 
one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. And... He became a beautiful butterfly. And that is the story of the very hungry caterpillar. See you next time.